these are gopher tortoise burrows and they are a common sight at, at least they were a common sight they have become less and less so over the years and i'm about to show you why these pictures are only from a few days after those original pictures were taken the gopher tortoise burrows were bulldozed and most likely all of the tortoises that lived in this area are now dead i saw this post from a facebook group i follow and the people who lived near this called the FWC and the FWC said that they couldn't do anything about it unless something was actually happening to the burrows. So when the bulldozing started, so they called the FWC and two and a half hours later, they had still not showed up. And by that time it was too late and all of the tortoise burrows were completely destroyed. And this is something that happens every day here in the state of Florida. Gopher tortoises are what are known as a keystone species. Basically, because of them, many other species of animals are able to live, many of them sharing the burrow with the gopher tortoise, like, you know, rattlesnakes, pine snakes, indigo snakes. There's even a species of frog that is only found in gopher tortoise burrows. And when things like fires happen, which is a common occurrence in Central Florida, these animals will go into the holes to escape the fire, an integral part of the ecosystem that helps everything else around it survive. Gopher tortoises are a federally protected species, which means you can't touch them. It's like a manatee. You can't mess with a manatee. And there are legal consequences for doing so. You can't even disturb within 25 feet of a burrow. You have to get permits to relocate and remove them. But each one of these permits costs anywhere from one to two grand, upwards of six grand per tortoise. And one of the arguments I get a lot is, why would you make it cost so much money? You're just going to make developers just ignore it and bulldoze the tortoises anyway, because why would they want to pay that much? Florida is being destroyed. Countless acres are being turned into homes. The wilds of Florida are just being decimated. Florida's not just beaches and Disney. There is so much more to it. Some of the ecosystems and the species that live here are only found in Florida. The sand hills where these tortoises live are only found in small areas of the southern states, including Florida. The reason that these permits cost so much is because it's an incentive not to build on an area where these animals live. Because once that area is gone, that's it. There's no more left. The thing that blows my mind are the same people who complain about things like climate change and the things and the destruction that people do to the environment, which is warranted don't seem to care about the actual destruction that's happening from people on these animals. This is just one scenario. This is happening all over the state with many other animals. Eventually, there's going to be nowhere to relocate these tortoises. The wilds of Florida are being destroyed slowly but surely. Well, not even slowly at this point. And then agencies like the FWC have people in charge like Chairman Barreto right here. Besides being the chairman of the FWC, he is the CEO of the Beretta Group, a public affairs consulting, real estate investment, and development firm. So the guy that is in charge of making sure that Florida's fish and wildlife are protected and the laws are enforced and harps on how destructive the invasive species are, which they are, is the same guy who's also a CEO of a company that destroys the ecosystems of Florida seems like a bit of a conflict of interest. We can talk all day about protecting the species that live here. Many animals have rebounded. The Florida panther, the manatee, the goliath grouper, the alligator, the American crocodile, they've all had success stories. But those success stories won't matter if the protection of the land that these animals need to live on are destroyed. Fortunate enough for gopher tortoises, they're able to live in small colonies and don't need as big of an area as an animal like a Florida panther. But there are species of animals that can't deal with the fracturing of their environment like the gopher tortoise can, like the indigo snake, the southern hognose snake, also known as the cymus, and species like the Florida king snake. Due to the fracturing of their environments, many of these snakes have been destroyed and are only found in a few areas of Florida because they literally can't survive the fractioning of their environment. 
and are gone forever in many parts of their native range. And this problem will only get worse. Florida is in trouble. And if we claim to truly care about the environment, situations like this should infuriate you. Because once this is gone, it's not coming back.